Hi guys, good evening. This is Dr. Jenny Yusuf, physical therapist, and Dr. Physical Therapy is another innovation again for our thanks God it's Thursday. So for all who are first time listeners for our interview every Thursday we have what we call as thank God it's Thursday. For our balance and fall support group we highlight different clinicians, innovators and entrepreneurs, physical therapists and academicians as well. So tonight it's our opportunity and it's my pleasure to introduce to you guys our one of our physical therapist assistant and she's also a certified lymphedema therapist and credentialed by Lana and also a massage therapist. She's a licensed massage therapist since 2019 and she is certified by Lana as a lymphedema therapist since 2017. She is also a certified physical trainer and physical therapist assistant. She's amazing. So yeah. now she's an entrepreneur and would like to learn more. And she will be one of our speaker and also sponsor for our lymphedema summit coming this March for the World Lymphedema Therapy Day, all right, on March 6th. But it will be done on March 4th. So without further ado, we have Abby or Abigail Malport. She's from Wisconsin. Welcome, Abby. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So thank you so much for this opportunity. So our listeners will be um, clinicians and they are therapists. They can be um physical therapists, occupational therapists, and also we have some support groups like physical therapists, not really physical therapists, our balance and falls, you know, the clients mm -hmm. and also lymphedema clients. So tell us more. What did I miss, Abby? So when I say about your credentials, where you are, tell me, yeah, tell us more. So I, I started my career as a physical therapist assistant and just uh, working in skilled nursing home settings. I was doing all the manual lymphatic drainage and complete decongestive therapy in that setting. Um, so I was doing it all day long, but I just came to the point that I realized that I could be helping more people if I could practice on my own. So that's when I decided that I would open my own business. I went back to school to become a licensed massage therapist so that I could have my own scope of practice. And that's what I did. So I started my own practice called Fluid Motion Massage here in um, Green Bay, Wisconsin. And it's it's been very successful. And I I feel blessed to be able to do that every day. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. I, I really totally believe that having your own practice is one way of giving back to the community with the different challenges that we have right now in our healthcare, um, especially being a physical therapist assistant. Also, we are physical therapists. You'll really never know how much you can help because of the Medicare reimbursement, you know, and yeah. then also your schedules, especially with the COVID-19 last um, 2020. So that's really a big, big um, hit there, right? So that's right. really great. Congratulations on your company. You Thank are you. the founder of the Fluid Motion Massage LLC, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. also congratulations in your innovation. You have the Lymph Motion Meet, right? Yes. So as a lymphedema therapist, um, how come... How, what inspires you to be a lymphedema therapist and also innovating such products like that? So when I was a kid, I really enjoyed watching those medical mystery sh TV shows. And you'd often see people with lymphedema and they would often say how there's not a lot of information about lymphedema or how to treat it. So that always intrigued me. So I really wanted to be one of those people or resources that people could go to for help. So I've always been intrigued by, by lymphedema. I created um, my product, the lymph motion mitt, which is, it's just a medical grade silicone mitt um, that I use, use sometimes in my practice, but a lot of times as a self care tool for my patients and clients, because over the years, I've really discovered that teaching self manual lymphatic drainage is very, very challenging patients and clients don't always understand or get the technique. So I wanted to come up with a way to kind of make it dummy proof in a sense the, the mitt has such a great coefficient of friction that it makes the skin stretch 
just so easy to do. The mitt doesn't slide on the skin. It just allows for such a great maximal skin stretch that I, you can get really effective MLD um, with this with this tool. Uh, I also had almost almost daily clients ask me about dry brushing, and I always thought mm, there's got to be a, a better tool out there that I can refer people to than um, than dry brushing. So I, that's why I came up with the lymph motion mitt and it's been, um, I released it about three and a half weeks ago. So it's been really, really a fun adventure. It took me about a year and a half to create it and bring it to life. So I'm really excited about it. Well, congratulations. And also thank you to Andrea. So she told me and she yeah. recommended me to you. And that day I saw your you in LinkedIn. And then, oh, yes. she's the one Andrea is talking about. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like it. I love the color and also Thank the you. texture. And mm -hmm. then I am always doing the MLD to our clients. So that will be very helpful. And also we have a new therapy, it's lymphedema therapist in, my com in our company. So that will be helpful. And it's not only for the clinician itself this is already for our clients itself so because they will we teach them how to do their own self uh, manual lymph drainage and that's really good yes go ahead. yeah mm -hmm. the mitt itself I've created instructional videos to go along with it so clients if mm -hmm. if they don't have a therapist or clinician guiding them in self MLD, MLD. I have some basic instructional videos for every segment of the body. Um, but yes, I do also have it available for clinicians who want to use it. I mean, I have some um, peers of mine, colleagues of mine who work in home health, and they're like, why would I ever use my hand again when I have this mitt and I can sanitize it and clean it and or just have one for each client. It just, I mean, whatever your preference is, but it just, it works so good that hygienically it works really great for people as well. That's really good. Now I don't need to use my gloves and it keeps yeah. sliding and sliding. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. and, and then also we have different textures of different clients, you know, and, mm -hmm. but we always educate them, put lotion, this is your skincare. So is there like, um, it is made with a lotion on it, you know, it will go with the flow or how does it work? So it works the best on clean, dry skin initially. So okay. I would always recommend doing the MLD first and then doing your, then doing this like lotioning or skincare. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you're someone who um, helps skincare, like washing and drying skin for your clients, you can do that obviously first, then do the MLD and then apply lotions. Um, it'll just work a little bit better on dry skin. Oh, okay. At least we know that it should be, yeah, because we always teach them skincare and so then fair. proper hygiene. Mm -hmm. And then later on, if you're doing the manual lymph drainage itself, so you advise on the dry skin that you're done already with your lotioning and everything. All right. Yeah, Good I mean, know. it'll... It'll mm -hmm. still work, but it'll work. A it'll grab the skin a little bit better because the lotion leaves you slippery, right? So when you try yes. and do it with your hands, oh, you might okay. slip around. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So why what this lymphedema for our listeners that are they can hear that most probably or they don't know that is lymphedema? Can you tell us a little bit on what lymphedema itself for so, our new listeners? So lymphedema in itself is a, a chronic edema problem. So people are either born with lymphedema or it's a secondary cause, whether it's cancer, obesity, um, or surgery of trauma of some sort, but lymphedema, in my opinion, is any sort of chronic swelling that stays in an area for more than that subacute phase. So a, a month or two, if that swelling is lingering, it's, it's probably turning into some lymphedema. Uh, lymphedema also has some characteristic signs of hardening and thickening of the tissue, mm -hmm. the skin might start to get scaly or tougher. Um, so those are some clinical signs as well that you can tell that something might be going on in the limb. It's often in an upper extremity, lower extremity, unilateral. Um, mm -hmm. It can be bilateral, but it's, it's often unilateral. Uh, it could be in the head or neck after cancer or, or in the abdomen, but it's really mm -hmm. characteristic by prolonged edema in an area that does not seem to go away. That's true. Yeah, it's really a very difficult uh, progressive disease if not being treated, you know. So this is a chronic one. So this is really challenging um, case. 
So we really need to know the different management. So we really need to take care of our skin and health. So what are the different, if they don't have lymphedema, but they have edema or post-surgery that they have developed some swelling, is this also helpful? So what are the other uh, cases that we can use the lymph motion meet? Absolutely. So in my private practice, my um, clients are very vast. I see a lot of post-surgical clients after cosmetic surgery. I see general post-surgical clients like hip replacements, knee replacements, any sort of abdominal surgeries. So any of those kind of sur surgeries and edema, this works really well for. Um, I see a lot of lip edema clients and we know that manual lymphatic drainage isn't going to solve the problem, but it can help manage the pain and often feels good for those folks. So this, the MIT can help facilitate the manual lymphatic drainage for them as well. Um, I see lymphedema clients and I, I teach them self manual lymphatic drainage. And then the other client that I see is just a regular normal person who wants to stimulate their lymphatic system. So for okay. the cellular detoxification purposes, boosting the immune system, I mean, if you think about the functions of the lymphatic system being fluid regulation, waste transport, and your immune system, mm -hmm. you can do lymphatic drainage for those purposes to help all three of those things. That's wonderful. Yes. So everybody has lymph. This is a circulatory system. Yep. You mm -hmm. doesn't need to have lymphedema to have this one. Yeah. Yes. I like that when you explain that because everybody, especially in long standing, gravity pulls all the edema on our legs, you know? So it depends, especially with your occupation. At the end of the day, we always advise elevate your leg. And then, so this is really good also for self um, love, you know, just to take care of yourself, improving your your circulation that's really good Absolutely. and also post-surgery as a physical therapist orthopedic and manual therapist we have many cases of post-op hip and knee replacement so that's really very helpful all right is she she's there you're six year old <laughs> yes. yes all right so re regarding all those things so how can we connect with you so where can they check this all these things and so your company you can find my information in two spots. So my business page is fluidmotionmassage.com. However, that's more for local folks who want to come in and get a session with me. Um, right on that page, though, is a link to my information for the Lymph Motion Mitt. That's just www.lymph-motion.com. Um, otherwise, feel free to find me on LinkedIn, Facebook. Um, my email address is abby at fluidmotion.com. So I'm pretty easy to find. That's wonderful. Yeah, we are in a balance and fall support group, Abby. So I always ask, knowing that you're a physical therapist assistant, when you're still practicing as a physical therapist assistant, what is your best um, exercises for our clients to improve their balance? I love this question because um, the aging population was always my favorite population to treat. Ankle strength, number one. Ankle strength is number one for falls and balance, in my opinion, because it's the first defense or writing reaction to losing your balance and tripping and falling. That's true. So what are some of your, um, like, always that you don't want to remove in your routine, your best ankle strategies, exercises? I guess it depends on the skill level of the person, but I, I really just like simple heel toe raises. Mm -hmm. I like any sort of challenge doing that with maybe a varied stance or maybe a step and reach with a toe raise or a heel oh, okay. raise on any sort of um, like a pillow if they have at home to increase, increase that the proprioception. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm strength in my opinion any sort of reach and step those are my favorite go-to balance exercises nice. and of course you could shut your eyes if you can do it safely <laughs> yes oh, yes so it that's why you said it depends on their level yes. because you yes. progress it from right. firm surface and then when you said that the cha uh, challenging with pillows and everything so that's a little bit more on price and then you close your eyes that's a little yes. bit more visual that's really good yeah i agree with that and then also they can do the reaching so you made it dynamic balance so that's really cool thank you so much this is really fun and good luck on your um company 
And Thank also you. we would like to learn more about that. So we will be looking for you on uh, March 4 for our World yes. Lymphedema. So thank you so much for supporting us as well. So any closing information, remarks for our listeners? Thank you for, for having me on. I really appreciate it. And um, keep moving your bodies. Yes, yes. How, <laughs> how about you? What keeps you moving? I, well, I chase around my six-year-old, plus I get up every morning at 5 a.m. and I exercise, even if it's 20 minutes. Oh my, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you look so good, Abby. Oh, yeah. You. So congratulations. And then looking forward to help our more elderly population and also, of course, our lymphedema clients. All right. So thank you, guys. And thank you. it's Yes, it's once again for a thanks God it's Thursday. We have today Abby Malport of Wisconsin of Lymph Motion Meet and the founder of that and also the founder and CEO of Fluid Motion Massage in Wisconsin. If you have any question, connect with us and you can check us on Balance and Fall Support Group and we will put all the information of Abby. Yeah, show us you're six years old. Say hi. Hello, Jody, what's your name? <laughs> This is Jordi. ready to go to bed, ha? Huh? Yes, she is. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, bye, guys. If you have any questions, take care. Bye. All right, bye. bye.